Cowboys are the only extreme Cowboy club in WA. While the American Cowboys jump through fire and shoot guns, we focus on extreme fun. Thank you for watching. 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 Thank you the course is set to test the horse's ability and willingness to work the rider's skill and negotiate the obstacles. Extreme Cowboy Racing is open to any type of rider from beginners to professionals. Eight levels of competition start at the young guns for children as young as seven and go all the way up to levels to the Ride Smart Division, which is specifically for non-professionals aged 55 years and older. There you go, veterans out there. Rider levels divided in the competition. Whether that you're a novice or a professional, there's classes for you. The number of obstacles and the difficulty varies based on the division. The competition is scored on time and the judges' assessment of how well the rider combination perform each of the required obstacles. This is definitely a sport which is which is decides on how much time you have spent working on partnership with your horse and the amount of exposure to all types of experience. I'm going to introduce a few of these riders as they negotiate all the obstacles they've set out. First out there we have Caitlin and Romeo. This team have been with the club since the first event. Caitlin is an international accredited judge and rides in the non-pro and pro division. Caitlin and Roman have ridden in many disciplines and took to this like a fish to water at the extreme cowboy racing. Next we have Debbie. Debbie Debbie's riding her trusty steed shotgun. They are out there a current non-pro champion. Debbie is also the Green Horse Champion with her other horse, Boston. So Debbie's done extremely well on both her steeds competing at Extreme Cowboy Racing. Good job, Debbie. We've also got out here Emily riding Chevy. This team are the Intermediate Division and were the High Point winners in 2019. So that makes them the current champs, if I'm reading that correctly. We also have Maddie and Spider. Maddie. Ooh, we got some fans out there. Yeah, I like it, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lonely place out here, so make sure you give them a shout out. If you know some of the riders here, or you just want to encourage them as they negotiate all the obstacles with speed now. We have Maddie and Spider. They are the current intermediate champions. Spider is the oldest horse at the club at 21 years of age. They like to say 21 years young. She's very brave and likes to win. The partnership to ride in English, she chooses a partnership rides in an English cell. I just had to reread -re that. I'm like, you crazy girl? <laughs> and are non Western trained. So they're not as strong at the Western skills, but they enjoy the cowboy racing because you don't have to wash or plait. <laughs> to do well, so there you go. If you're out there and you're sick of plating your horse up, you might want to give this a go. Very fun and she loves the technical skills. We have Nikki out there. Ooh. Running Corella. Both started competing together in the sport since Corella was broken in 18 months ago. Although still very young and green, Gorilla's brave and confident type of breed, of course, and she's a, and has allowed them to win the Novice Division Championship in 2018 and place second in the Intermediate Division at the Championships in 2019. Lastly, we have out there Tom and Tashi. Tom likes the club because of the friendly and supportive people with not too many rules. Tom and Tashi like to hoon around in the pro division and love when they get to play the Gymkhana games. Have a look at him, ladies and gentlemen. Bit of a crowd favourite there, Tom. 
So we're just having a look at how they negotiate. It's all the riders we have out there negotiating all the obstacles. Give me an opportunity just to have a look. So this could be a sport that, like I mentioned before, you might be interested in getting involved in. Have a look! There would be horses out here that would be trembling of the thought of stepping one hoof onto the seesaw. And that lady, my friend, just cannot, if not galloped over it. <laughs> Holy doolies. That's a saying I certainly can't say in the States. They have a hard time understanding us Australians. You start using some of our lingo. Another horse again, without hesitation, folks. So if you're out there wondering about having your go at this great sport, I'm sure the lovely club here in Western Australia would love to have you attend and be very supportive for anybody out there, like it has said in the intro, that it's set up for all levels, both horse and rider combination. So I can't stress that enough, ladies and gentlemen. How about we crank a little bit of music while these guys finish up in here, ladies and gentlemen.